We're going to be looking at how Section 8 can alleviate a lot of the inconsistencies that come with rental properties in uh, higher risk neighborhoods. Brent from Ohio, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. One, two, three. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV, coming to you live from my home office due to, you know, social distancing, corona, I, coronavirus outbreak, blah, 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 blah. Now, diving right into things, I am working with my guy, Brent. Brent, you are originally... Uh, your wife, actually, she's from the Cleveland area. You guys currently live down in Cincinnati right now, and you guys would like to invest some of your money um, up up in her hometown of Cleveland, right? Our numbers are, uh, you know, just off the charts here. And going back and forth, you know, you, you, me, and your wife, we decided we're going to do 10 properties together. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to locate and analyze, do some due diligence for you guys on 10 properties in the Cleveland market. What you've got right now, your goal is to build a large portfolio over the next several years. Eventually, you guys would like to get out of the rat race, get out of your nine to five, you know, set yourself up with a nice retirement, right? So you're, you're younger, right? You're looking on a long term horizon. So you're not necessarily worried about making money right now. You got a good job. So, you know, that's where you're lit, you know, the income you're living off of is coming from your jobs. You guys are looking into the long term stuff. You have $30,000 cash on hand at the moment and uh, you have access to up to 50,000 if we're talking over the next few months here. Um, you're going to use financing of course, why wouldn't you? But that's what you have for your down payment, 30 to 50k. Now because you're on such a long-term horizon, you were interested in, in neighborhoods that I thought were going to eventually improve. Now you also said you were interested in Section 8. You're very interested in Section 8 which is great. In addition to that, you were, you were targeting C and B class neighborhoods, uh, but you said, you know, your risk tolerance, you're kind of open to that because you're so young and this is such a long-term play for you. You don't really need the income today. You're looking for a long-term play and you're looking for, uh, you know, neighborhoods that are going to improve. So the first property that I found for you, 3409 Carlisle Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This has been listed by an EXP real estate agent for the last 52 days, and nothing is really happening on this. It was originally listed for $40,000. They've just recently dropped it down to $35,900. I would like to see you pick it up even cheaper than that. I would like to see you pick this property up at $27,000. Now, the reason that I think we can go ahead and pick this up so cheaply is twofold. Number one, uh, the particular area, it is a D-class area, right? We are in, uh, you know, just north of the Brooklyn Center neighborhood. D-class area, right? So it's, it's a little bit high risk, and that's going to scare some investors away. And then the second reason is there's a tenant in there, and they're not really paying that much rent. They're paying a lot less than you would normally anticipate. Currently, right now, we have one tenant in this property paying $600 a month. That's $7,200 a year. What does that look like? Well, if you're bringing in $600, we've got to anticipate, you know, saving $30 for repairs and maintenance, $30 for vacancy and non-payment, $30 for CapEx, you know, roof, hot water tank, furnaces, things of that nature. Now, this is a tiny little property. So, you know, the CapEx is going to be slightly cheaper because we just don't need to do as much. When we turn this stuff over, smaller, you know, smaller area as far as the roof goes, it's, you know, under $5,000, that roof, right? Taxes, they're going to be low because the property value is low, 55. Insurance, my team, in the show notes below, I want you guys to click the link. We can save anybody money on their insurance premiums. We have a farmer's insurance office. In addition, we're also appointed with several other niche insurance companies, specialized insurance companies that you've never heard of. I'm not talking about State Farm or Progressive or other companies that you're seeing on TV when you're watching, uh, you know, your sporting events or whatnot. Well, I guess you ain't really watching any sporting events right now, but y'all know what I'm saying, right? These are just smaller companies that uh, don't do a lot of marketing. 
They require people like us to bring them business. And because of that, we could beat those prices down. So if you're interested in lowering your insurance premium for your rentals anywhere in the United States, we were appointed in you know, several states, not just Cleveland, uh, Ohio, right? So we're, we're outside of Ohio. So if you got a portfolio in Detroit, Michigan, baby, click the link. Let's save you some money. So this property, dude, cheap property, we'll get this for you, 50 bucks a month, right? 600 bucks a year, just a simple, you know, fire policy, high liability policy. That, that's all we need. No other additional riders that you don't need, right? That's, that's how we beat your policy down. We don't put the bullshit on there for you guys, right? Water sewer, you got to pay that for the tenants. That's 75. If you're curious to know why you have to pay water sewer for the tenants, even though it's a single family home, I know a lot of markets across the USA, that's, that's not the case, but it is here in Cleveland. I want you to go to our FAC. I'm going to pull that up on the screen for you guys right now. Check out our property management FAC. Scroll all the way down. Check that out. It's a whole long story, but I've identified exactly why. And after you read that, it'll make sense. Um, Lawn care, we're going to have the tenants do that, man. You don't need to worry about lawn care. Tenants are going to do that single family home. That's one of the benefits of a single family versus a multifamily. You don't have to pay for the lawn care. Property management is going to be cheap because the property is renting for so low, 60 bucks. So I anticipate of that 600 coming in, we're going to spend 330 just operating this property, which is going to leave you with 270. But you said you're down to use financing, which you absolutely should, right? That's the name of the game. Money is so cheap right now. Insurance rates are so low, given all the things that are happening out there in the world right now. We're trying to stimulate the economy. So, you know, the powers that be are trying to keep things moving, right? So, you know, we need to be like out there grabbing this money, guys. Money should not be this cheap. We should not be able to get residential mortgages, 30-year mortgages for this low. So what we need to do is we need to be aggressive as investors. And when the iron is hot, man, you got to strike, right? So let's get some financing on this sucker. You do that. You only got to put down $6,750, man. So of your 30 k you got a ton of it left over, right? What is that, like 20 I don't know, 22 and a half or something like that. You got a lot to, to move on to property number two. All right. So that's what you want to do, right? Teeny tiny mortgage, 20,250, your payment only 85 bucks a month. So after you add in your mortgage payment, this property should kick off $185 a month, which would be a 32.8% cash on cash return on average. Now, before you get super excited, right? Why was I able to, why do I think we can target this property at a price so low, right? They originally listed at 40K, nobody bought it. They got it down at 35.9 and I think I can pick it up for you for 27. Why am I able to beat the shit out of that price for you? If it's a fucking 32.8% cash on cash return, what's the fucking catch? There's gotta be a catch, right? That's just fucking sunshine and rainbows. And we all know that's not how real estate works. The catch is, dude, it's a D-class neighborhood right now, okay? That's going to come with a lot of risks, a lot of BS, right? I just laid out to you, you know, an estimate of what you can, you know, see. But as we, you know, get into even more risky neighborhoods, you know, sometimes things like your vacancy and not payment, that's going to go up. Okay, which means your repairs and maintenance costs are going to go up because you're doing more turnovers, right? Those are going to go up, right? These are problems, okay? And these are very, very real problems, right? So what we need to do, okay, because we need to understand these problems are real, right? You know, that is an average, but you have a couple bad tenants in a row, which the rougher the neighborhood, the more likely you're going to run into bad tenants, right? So, you know, those, those returns can get wiped out you know, a couple years in a row, you know, you could have a string of bad luck, dude. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast, right? Like, you know, when we put your tenants in the property, we screen them as best we can, but the number one screener of the tenants is going to be the neighborhood, right? Super high class tenants are not choosing to live in this neighborhood today. One day, maybe I'm going to get into that shortly, but right now, you know, this is not a destination. So how do we alleviate that risk? How do we make that better for you because that risk is why the price is going down 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 but here's the thing we go section eight right that's going to alleviate a lot of the risks and it's going to greatly increase the rent 600 that's way too low right that's a cash paying tenant paying 600. now i'm not saying we're going to boot this tenant out this tenant could be a good tenant it could be a shitty tenant i don't know like you know the seller ain't gonna tell us though right seller ain't gonna be like yeah this tenant he's a fucking asshole i hate him that's why i'm selling the property no seller's gonna tell you that they're gonna tell you the tenant's great 
And then after we close, we're going to figure that out, All right? We're going to figure that out pretty quick. And all they got to do to be a great tenant is pay rent. All they got to do to be a shitty tenant is not pay rent. So it's very simple, right? What we need to do, take the property over, continue collecting this guy's rent, right? If he's good, he keeps paying the rent, great. We could keep it as is right now. And, or, and then like, you know, every year slowly increase, like throw another 50, throw another 50, right? Just try to get him up till he eventually moves out. When he moves out, we're going to need to go into the property, spend ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, make it beautiful, get it Section 8 approved. Then we'll be able to rent it out for 1000 bucks a month or so. That's what we should be getting on the Section 8 voucher. And the Section 8 voucher is going to alleviate all those problems. Not all the problems, but a lot of the problems, right? Evictions, non-payment. The fewer evictions you have, the more rent you collect. The fewer evictions you have, the lower amount of turnovers you have. The lower amount of turnovers is going to be a lot less money you're spending turning the units over, right? You get a tenant in your property. They stop paying rent, then they fuck the property up, then you evict them, and then you got to turn it over for the next tenant. I mean, all told, dude, that could be like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000, right? You do that three or four times, you're losing, you're losing your butt, right? But we get Section 8 in there, it's going to alleviate those problems for the most part, right? Because you don't have to really worry about the tenant not paying rent, right? Because the government is paying the tenant's rent. They're paying a large majority of the tenant's rent. And we'll be able to get that rent up to 1000 bucks a month. We're going to deck this property out, make it nice, make it desirable get you a thousand bucks a month, reduce those risks, allow you to make a solid return. And the reason I targeted this, even though you said you're like, oh man, let's, let's look at a C or B. There's not that many C or B neighborhoods in the Cleveland market right now that I can identify reasonable, factual reasons why I think we're going to see them drastically improve, right? I think they're just kind of going to chug along and maintain. But this particular neighborhood, right? I have reasonable data that leads me to believe that I think this neighborhood is on a major uptick, okay? Reason being, and I've talked about this in a lot of my shows. Perhaps you've seen them. If you haven't, you're about to find out now, right? Metro Health is investing $1 billion. That's B with a B, like boy, right? $1 billion in their facility, and they're investing a lot of that money in the immediate neighborhood around it. They're going to be putting in more housing, affordable housing, things of that nature. So I think the long-term horizon for this neighborhood is going up. In ad addition, addition to the fact that Metro is putting in a billion bucks over here, this is like just south of like Tremont and Ohio City, right? Those are two incredibly hot neighborhoods. At one point, they were kind of crummy. And then uh, gentrification, people investing, a lot of the hipsters, a lot of the yuppies moving in there, right? Well, the housing prices there are huge. They're so high. I mean, people are paying like four or five, six hundred thousand dollars for houses over there, right? So as all the affordable houses are are taken away, right? You know, th the nice things that are happening there, like the it's just going to continue to spread in the immediate neighborhood surrounding that is this. So you couple the fact that it's located perfectly, right? Very close to downtown. You're on the border of those neighborhoods, and we're going to see a billion dollars going into this neighborhood. I think this is a smart play if you're looking at it for the long term. I think this neighborhood is going to see the biggest shift in the Cleveland market. I could be wrong, right? You know, I don't have a crystal ball, but, you know, I've happened to manage a portfolio valued over $50 million. So I got to know a little something about uh, real estate. And I got a hunch that this is going to be a good neighborhood. And if I swing and I miss and it doesn't change, well, hey, we went into this the right way. We got it. We tried to get it at least for a very low price, 27000 And we did everything we could to reduce the risks that come along with high-risk neighborhoods by putting in a Section 8 tenant as soon as possible. We're not going to just immediately kick out the current tenant, though, because it does make money as it sits. So let's let that guy make you some money. We don't want to just immediately boot his ass to put a Section 8 tenant in there. It doesn't make any sense to remove income coming into your pocket just so you could immediately go into your pocket and pull out 10 to 15 thousand dollars makes no damn sense let's take his money until he becomes a problem or moves out when that happens then we'll invest your money then we'll get you a thousand bucks then we'll be looking at this on a long-term investment with that guaranteed government rent so all of those reasons i think we can go ahead and uh knock this one down i think this would be a great start to your portfolio brent now we're going to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show then i'm gonna get into the second property good day everyone it's angela remora here 
your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Hey, Brent, welcome back. Now, the second property that I have found for you. This is uh, you know, going to be in a similar boat uh, to the other property numbers-wise. This is more going to look like the end game, right? The end game. Over there, I analyzed what the property is currently bringing in, but um, I didn't break down the numbers when you're bringing in a thousand bucks in rent. But this particular property, we're going to want to go that route right off the rip. 1534 West 102 Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This has been on the market almost two months as well, right? It was listed by a Howard Hanna agent for $40,000. I happen to think that price is too high. I do not see them selling that for this price. Uh, reason being, right, this is also a D-class neighborhood. Now, this is uh, not going to be affected as much by that Metro Health um, investment, okay? It's not in the immediate neighborhood. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're sick, Okay, and you got to go to a hospital and you live in this house, that's the hospital you're going to go to. But you can't like walk, walk your dog around the block and uh, end up on the Metro Health campus. So will it be affected? Probably. Will it be affected uh, as drastically? Probably not. I don't want to, you know, make you think that. But this is also close to another incredibly popular neighborhood. We got the Edgewater neighborhood just north of this. Super popular neighborhood, right? Neighborhood um, got a lot of, you know, great stuff going on, high demand, high prices. So you know, you're looking on a long-term horizon. Well, if you're looking long-term horizon, man, the best thing to do is buy properties just on the outskirts of the places people are going, right? I mean, we could, I could sell you properties. We could analyze properties that are in the hot neighborhoods right now, but you're going to pay for that, right? You know, you're coming at this with a thirty to fifty thousand dollar budget, so you know you're just getting started. We, we we're not we're not you know working with hundreds of thousands of dollars right now. So you know we should be targeting properties that are just on the outskirts, right? Just on the wrong side of the train tracks, uh, so to speak, right? Because the idea is that's going to go up in the future. So I'm going to see, you know, long term horizon. I, th I think this could be pretty good. But right now, you know, I think we can get a, a pretty decent price on this because. Uh, it's cruising through the photos, as you can see, like the place is a, it's a dump, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's a dump, right? It, it does not look great. It's a freaking dump. Now, one thing, and I've talked about this in, a, in another video as a major red flag. I'm actually going to put that video in the show notes below. I'm going to bring it to your attention right now. Looking at this photo of the living room, right? Look up at that ceiling fan. What do you see above that ceiling fan? You see a drop ceiling. Now, that's how I know this house is a goddamn dump, okay? Drop ceilings are a red flag. If you see a drop ceiling anywhere other than a basement, that should you know alert your brain that something is going on here. What happens is you know if there's a bathroom, if the bathroom is directly above that, which I, it probably is, right? There's piping in in uh, in the bathroom right under the floor. Okay, what happens is you know if that piping starts leaking, 
okay? It starts damaging the ceiling. And then you'll get some uh, sellers that uh, they either try to hide that by installing a drop ceiling or, you know, maybe they fix the leak and then they just put in a drop ceiling because they don't want to fix the ceiling the right way. What that shows me is, you know, they're taking shortcuts, they're half-assing things. So, you know, a novice buyer could walk into this home you know, you're in this living room and you look up and there's just a nice, you know, white ceiling. You don't see any issues. But underneath that, we could very well have a ton of mold, water damage, rot. So, you know, these analysis, you know, that you're getting from me, these desktop analysis, these are great. These are going to help you do your due diligence, but they are not the end game, right? This is a great start and I'm able to point these things out to you. But what we're going to do is we're going to continue to do due diligence and we're going to buy this property. Well, we're going to put it under contract. We're going to attempt to rather put it under contract contingent on your own third party home inspection. And we're going to make sure that home inspector gets his head up in there. See, so he can see what's behind that. And then of course we'll make uh, adjustments to our offer as necessary. Right? So that's, you know, that's what you're paying me the bucks for, right? To identify these types of red flags right off the rip, right? Cruising through some of the other photos, like this kitchen dude, that floor crummy. Uh, we just got a hodgepodge mitch mismatch of cabinetry, right? Like the upper cabinets are from one era. The the lower cabinets, we've got two, like they all, all appear to be the same cabinets. The one uh, upper panel thing is missing there. And then look at the countertops, right? They're, they're not even connected. They're not the same countertops, right? It's just a fucking dump, really. I mean, that uh, backsplash looks like shit. Apparently, this guy, we got some fucking shitty ass bowls like hanging. I mean, the whole thing's just a fucking dump, right? It's a goddamn dump. Okay, so it's crummy, but that's good. We want it to be crummy because it's crummy. It's listed for 40000 right now. I don't, I don't think anybody's buying it, dude. It just looks like crap. Uh, it's not a rental, by the way. It's, it's occupied by the owner, so um, there is no rental income coming in. So because it looks like crap, I don't think a lot of people are going to be that interested in it just because it, it shows horrendously, right? Uh, because of that, I'm going to try to get this thing for you for $30,000, $10,000 off the list price. And because it's such a dump, right off the rip, as soon as this homeowner moves out, we're going to put 15 K into it. Right. So we're going to be all into this bad boy for 45,000 doing that. We should be able to be section eight approved, getting ourselves a tenant. Just like I talked about it in the Carlisle property, thousand bucks a month, government guaranteed rent. Now let's run the number analysis on what things are going to look like from a cash flow perspective after we got that thousand dollars coming in. So thousand dollars comes in repairs and maintenance. We're still going to calculate for those 50 vacancy and non-payment 50 capex 50 because even though we have section eight eventually people are going to move in and out right it's just now that we have section eight i can i can hope for some consistency with the performance of the properties like if we're in a rough neighborhood and we're just not cash paying tenants i mean these people are just so uh unpredictable right they you know one small thing in their life goes wrong and dude, the first thing they don't do is pay rent right so this just adds us consistency we still need to factor the fact that eventually there'll be non-payment coming in but it's a controllable amount taxes cheap dude 60 insurance another 50 bucks again everybody click the show notes below get a quote from my team whatever you are paying in insurance right now i guarantee you we can get that a little bit lower. Let us work our magic and put a little bit of money in your pocket. I mean, guys, COVID-19, coronavirus, man, people are freaking out. You know, a lot of businesses are closed, right? So a good way to increase revenue is to keep more of your money from going out the back door. That's what my team can do for you guys, right? Water sewer, 75. Long care, again, tenant will do that. PM, 100 bones. So on average, we should spend approximately 435 of that $1,000 a month that comes in, leaving us with 565 on average. Now we'll finance this bad boy too. Cool thing, right? Even though the property is a dump, it's probably livable, right? We got a dude living there right now, so we'll still be able to get you a loan. Um, if you do not have your own lender, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We will get you our list of lenders. A lot of people are shocked to find out that we have lenders that can write loans this low, right? This would be a $22,500 mortgage. $94 a month would be your payment. A lot of people have the false impression out there that lenders will not write loans under 50K. Not true. A lot of lenders won't. Very, very, very few of them will. But of course, we have those contacts. We have lenders that will write you fixed interest, low interest, 30-year 
loans. These are tax deductible. The interest on this is tax deductible. They will write those loans for you as low as $20,000. That is their loan minimum. So hit my team up for that list of lenders, sales at holtonwise.com. Doesn't matter who you are. You know, you're not Brent. If you're out there watching this on Holton Wise TV, I've sent Brent this video probably three months ago. Um, hell, the coronavirus pandemic's probably over and you're watching this wondering why the hell I'm talking about coronavirus so much. But when I filmed this, this was three months ago. And then after the deals are gone, then I released them live on Holton Wise TV for the rest of you guys out there to watch them. So if you're anybody out there, even if you're not going to do a deal here in Cleveland, that's okay. Maybe you're doing deals uh, down in, um, you know, where Brent lives, down in Southern Ohio, or maybe you're doing deals in Detroit, wherever you're doing deals, guys. My lenders, they're going to write these loans on properties in all 50 states. So get those, get that list of lenders, guys, sales at holdenwise.com. After you pay off all that mortgage, that teeny tiny mortgage that we're talking about, Brent, this property, that'd be a 25% cash on cash return. And that is factoring in the fact that you're going to have to put up $7,500 in cash for the down payment, plus another $15,000 to get this thing section eight ready. After you do all that, we account for all that. This is still going to kick off a 25% cash on cash return. And I believe that we can give you a level of consistency here because we're going with the government guaranteed rents. Now, I'm, I'm going to be frank with you. If you tried to purchase either of these properties and you wanted to just go cash paying tenant routes, I think that would be incredibly high risk. And I think you would see a lot of issues and a lot of your returns would get wiped away by bad, bad patches, right? So I, I wouldn't want you to do that. I think going with the Section 8 route for both of these properties is key. Now, again, both properties are a little bit lower on your quality of neighborhood, but for the reasons mentioned in the video, I think both neighborhoods are very good bets. The cool thing with you is you did the 10 property package. So if I'm a little off base, if you're not agreeing with me on my strategy here, hey man, we're going to do eight more properties. That's the point of doing 10, okay? It allows us to continually work back and forth, back and forth, you know? I, I, I find, analyze, give you my advice on two properties based upon what you told me. Then you take my feedback. If you're like, James, I, I, I don't want to bark up this tree that you're barking up, dog. I want to I wanna do something a little different. I really want to go C-class. Well, then that's great, man. I will focus the next video on that. If you like where I'm going and you want more of this stuff, you're going to let me know, right? Maybe we write offers on these properties. Maybe we move on, right? You don't have enough funds at you know, the moment today to do 10 properties, but you know, maybe we'll navigate through a handful or so of them before we find you the right properties. I happen to think right now, these are two really good opportunities for you, but Hey man, it's your money, brother. So you let me know everybody else. If you're watching this video again, it's probably about three months after Brent got the video on a private link. If you would like to work with me and my team one-on-one, -on -one, just like Brent and his wife are doing right now, have me take your wants, your needs, your goals, your finances, and work out a plan of attack to get you properties in the Cleveland market, then represent you as your buyer's agent, then go ahead and take over the property management, handle all your construction needs, get you insurance, set you up with title companies, complete top to bottom done for you real estate. If you'd like to work with us, work with me one-on-one, -on -one, do that. I want you to go on to holtonwise.com, click the property search for sale tab, scroll down to the MLS search analysis show, pick up a package today. I highly recommend the 10 property package because it's a long-term package. More or less, you get to work with me one-on-one -on -one and we really get to build you a portfolio, right? This ain't like regular real estate where you and your wife, you just cruise down the nice little neighborhoods, you see a house you love, you envision your kids playing in the front yard and then you buy it and then you're done, right? We're building a business here, guys. Nobody got rich buying one little fucking $30,000 single family home. So it's a long-term investment, right? I'm investing a ton of time and resources in you. You're investing some money in me and we will make your dreams happen or at least try to because, you know, it's real estate, guys. There are risks. Anybody who's telling you there aren't is lying or is stupid. That's all I've got for you on today's show. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal 
for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.